Hello, everybody. I, I don't tend to dress up for these things. I've, uh, please forgive me. Uh, welcome to Timukwa. Welcome to our living room. Uh, my wife, who's out is singing with a choir right now, she, uh, she and I uh, started doing this 18 years ago, almost, um, in a normal suburban home. And then we ran out of room. And so we designed and built this place so that we could have concerts and literary events. You saw some pretty cool things coming up. I hope you're looking at this because there's some really cool things coming up. Um, one of which is uh, May 6th, uh, art show at five o'clock and then, uh, and they're all female artists and then readings afterwards from the literary, uh, functionally, functionally literate, not like I'm speaking a lot better. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, so uh, this I believe is event like our public event number 735 for us. So we do this very regularly. So, so for example, we just had something last night. Uh, the Mexican consulate organized a, a flutist from Mexico. And um, so that was last night. And uh, this uh, Saturday is a classical guitarist. And then next, the ne following week is literature and uh, so on and so forth. So usually every month we have jazz, folk, classical, and uh, usually it's modern, like contemporary classical, but it varies. And uh, some, we call it alternative, which means film, uh, literature, poetry, whatever else, theater. And so um, we hope that you try to, you know, f find out more about it. Uh, we can go on, you can go online at timukwa.com. I go online all the time at timukwa.com <laughs> uh, to find out more about it. And uh, sometimes I have to go on my calendar to figure out what's coming up because we have so many things going on. So anyways, there's a few things you need to know. First thing is please silence your cell phone. It's just gonna be a nicer experience for everybody if we don't get this one person who forgets to silence the cell phone. And you can kill the flash. You're gonna see, there's actually a, a fair bit of light here. And when we light the whole uh, stage for the bands, there'll be more light because we need more light. There's more people. So um, there's, we have three bathrooms, one on each floor. Please use them if you need them. Uh, it's much preferable to the alternative. And of course, if there's a, a, some re for some reason you, we need to exit the house, you can use this. And in case of emergency, you can also use the west side. If you are upstairs and there is an emergency, don't go out on the third floor. I mean, there's, it's, there's nothing good for you up there. It's a patio, it's nice, it's a patio, but it doesn't help in case of emergency at all. There's no way to get down. So um, I think I, oh yeah, uh, you probably have food. If you have wine or if you have a glass, that's very good that you have a glass. Keep your glass for the whole evening and when you're done, just bring it in the kitchen. This way I don't have to get to go a wine glass hunting. I'm not a hunter. I don't hunt anything, including wine glasses. But seriously, we don't, we, uh, you know, we have a nonprofit called the Timuka Arts Foundation. My, my son made that, by the way, a few weeks ago, uh, Charles. And, and uh, you can see the original logo on the window there that my wife did uh, in stained glass. And then for those people who are lucky enough to be sitting in the middle, you can see the logo is again in tile on, in the floor. It's, a, it's, it's made in tile in the floor. A lot of people don't notice that because there's chairs everywhere, but uh, during the day, it's very easy to see. When I'm practicing my trumpet here, it's very easy. I see it very plainly. So anyways, um, with I think we're ready to go, right? So you know everything you have to know. You can take pictures and you can share them on Instagram or whatever it is. You can use hashtag WMFE, hashtag Timuqua Arts. Everything's good. Um, and I am streaming this live, which is why I'm talking in the mic right now, so that the people in Vancouver and Sydney, Australia, if they're night owls uh, are watching. So uh, without further ado, please help me welcome La Fontaine Oliver. I love the way Benoit says my name. I've got to figure out how I can, I can say it that way. It's got that, that extra added flair to it. So thank you all for, uh, for coming. It's so good to, to see you for year three of our Zippo'd Poetry Throwdown. Um, we started this, we kind of stole the idea, you know, uh, you, you see something that works and you, you steal it and you make it work for your community. It was just an opportunity to really 
get folks talking about some of the wonderful things in, in their community. And uh, so year three, we're excited uh, to be here uh, at the Timaqua Arts Foundation. And we definitely wanna thank uh, both Benoit and also Chris Belt for welcoming us here. And uh, as you heard, this is of course, just a jewel here in the Central Florida community to have a venue like this. How many of you, this, uh, is, is this your first opportunity to, to visit? Oh, wow. So this is great to have so many uh, first timers to, uh, to be able to um, experience this place. It's, it's very intimate. I've been here for, uh, for a number of performances and it's, uh, it's become one of my family's f favorite places uh, to visit. So we are also here uh, in addition to, of course, it being National Poetry Month and us doing our zip boats, really celebrating the success of NPR's Tiny Desk. Uh, contest and we had some wonderful entries and you all were uh, a part of helping us to uh, um, pick our favorites and so this evening we're going to hear from Holy Human, uh, John Corbell and also CC Tenille and Soul Commotion. So definitely looking forward to that. Uh, I'll have to ask Benoit, you know, we got the chairs here, but I'm sure he won't mind if you want to get up and do a little dancing. Don't mind me if I bump into you. When the, when the music hits, sometimes you got to move. Um, so finally, we are in uh, just a couple of weeks into our silent drive, and I'd be remiss if I did not say to those of you who've already contributed uh, to our campaign, thank you so much. We cannot do what we do without you, our community, supporting us with your financial support. So thank you very much. If you have not made your contribution, well, you know how to do it. I'm gonna give you a spot here, 1-800-75-2020, or online at wmfe.org. That's the way you do it. So without further ado, uh, it is my pleasure to introduce, actually for the third year, helping us out hosting this evening's event, uh, evening entertainment reporter with the Orlando Sentinel, Trevor Frazier. Thank you, and again, and one more hand for uh, La Fontaine there, everybody. Um, I say this uh, very seriously from the, from the bottom of my heart. This is not on my notes. Uh, this, is, this is genuine. Uh, I support the good work that WMFE does, and I would like to see them continue doing it. So please, you know, if you get a chance, uh, you know, donate to them. Also, the work that the Timaqua Arts Foundation does. Uh, again, if this is your first time, welcome. This joint is a treasure and uh, they get in some of the absolute finest acts from around the world. Some of it is really um, incredible, not just to hear, but how they got them in. So if you can give to the Tim Quartz Arts Foundation, by all means, uh, I support that. Uh, that is me speaking. I am not just a representative of the Sentinel in that moment. Um, uh, I, we are here for the Zippo Throwdown. Now, how many of you uh, wrote Zippodes for this, just out of curiosity? Okay, cool. If you did not write Zippodes for it, we're going to tell you how to do it. And uh, there are forms floating around, I believe. Uh, are, they, are they out in the kitchen? They're outside in the kitchen. Okay, so are outside. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, and, and Jenny has them. So find Jenny uh, or find them outside, wherever they wind up being. Um, and uh, you can write some, we're gonna have people up here uh, later on the night to read some of their Zippodes. But what is a Zippode? Well, it's an invented poetry form. Uh, it's uh, a, a modern American form. And the basic idea is this. You take your zip code. Uh, we all have a five digit zip code. So you have five lines in your Zippode. Your five lines correspond to the numbers in your zip, uh, in your zip code, so it's a word for each number, not syllable. You might be tempted to write it in syllable because uh, it is poetry, but no, it is a word for each number. So three words should be pretty much everyone's here, uh, I would imagine. Uh, two words, eight words, or nine words, or seven words, so on and so forth. Um, if you're still not getting it, the basic idea, of course, is to uh, is to honor the place where you are from uh, to write about that. So it's very similar to haiku in not only in being short, but in that it is supposed to evoke a natural uh, image the way that haiku does. Now, if 
Uh, you are still not getting it. I'm going to read you uh, the couple that I wrote uh, so that you can get a taste for it. Uh, do any of you know uh, the proper etiquette for when somebody has uh, read a poem? Oh, I hear somebody snapping. Who else is snapping? Everybody's snapping? Yeah, when somebody reads a poem, don't do that. I, and and let, me, let, me, let me tell you why. Uh, this is, I, it's a personal pet peeve of mine. There are people who still support it, and, who still, and, and, and that's fine. And snapping during a poem is good because it lets, you know, uh, lets people know, oh, I heard that line. That was a good line. But the reason that people started snapping for poetry, anybody know? I know you're no, uh, well, kind of, a little bit. Uh, it, was, it was, you see, the beatniks in the, in the 50s and 60s who were doing live readings in places. Well, everyone hated them. Uh, most communities that they were in hated them. Most communities thought that they were gatherings of communists. And so they were looking for, which they often were, and they were looking for any excuse to shut them down. And so what they would do is uh, there would be an officer who would stand outside with a noise meter and who would wait until the decibel count inside whatever venue they were reading in went higher than whatever the allowed uh, decibel count for that time of night that, you know, place was. And they would come in, they'd bust them, and they'd, they'd kick everybody out. So in order to keep the volume down, they would encourage everybody to snap instead of clap. Now that we live in a society that does not openly want to throw poets in jail, I would prefer that we celebrate our poetry by clapping. That is, that is my personal thing. So everybody clap right now for poetry in general, just in general, for the fact that poetry exists. So this, this is how a Zippo should sound. Now, I've added another little layer to this. Uh, uh, I believe that a Zippo, a Zippo should come in cycles of five. So essentially, the five, line, uh, the five lines that we have there is actually a stanza in a five stanza poem, essentially what we're talking about there is like a sonnet, a zippoed sonnet now. So it's getting way more complicated than it needs to be, but that's, that's the thing. But I've written a cycle of five zippodes to my zip code. My new zip code that I just moved to this last year is 32822. Anybody know where that is? 32822? Anyone else? Anyone else? No? Okay. Yeah, down by the airport. It's, uh, it's down Cimarron. It's over by the airport. Uh, it's also you know, in that area, the Hofner area, the, the south of Conway, uh, Conroy area, or Conway area. Uh, so yeah, so this is, this is my, my Zippodes, Zippode cycle to 32822. The dull roar, low engines, a constant background like the color of sky, not noisy, just noise. Who designed this? Cimarron Boulevard. Who planned this million lanes of street garbage? Oh, right. No one. My creepy neighbor, always staring. He doesn't wave hello when we get home. He's harmless, we hope. Every restaurant chain thrown together. New arrivals aren't confronted with anything too exotic. Welcome, tourists. There's Carabas. <laughs> My first house, the outskirts, crammed where the city commission doesn't care, but it's cheap, it's home. So, Thank you. clap for poetry. I appreciate it. Uh, so that's, that's the idea of that. So we're going to be bringing you guys up uh, later on in the night. Uh, we're going to be also reading some, I'm going to be reading some more from uh, um, ones that were sent into the station, some that were written by some of your favorite station celebrities. Uh, but before that, we're gonna move on to our Tiny Desk performances. Now the Tiny Desk concerts uh, started in, uh, they were a national NPR thing, uh, and uh, this was the first year that uh, WMFE has done that. Is that correct? Do we wanna correct me on that? Yes, yes first year for uh, WMFE to run the uh, Tiny Desk contest. So they had in, uh, a number of different uh, uh, bands who played and they asked for your votes. The first band uh, garnered more than 600 votes uh, in the Tiny Desk voting and it took the top spot. They filmed their Tiny Desk entry in the classroom where one of its members teaches. Hailing from New Smyrna Beach, 
This band describes themselves as rock and roll with a touch of strange, psychedelic punk with a bluesy stomp, holy harmonies, and an attitude. Please give it up for Holy Human. Or holy human, this song is called Ballad of the Swamp King. I can't complain, I can't be proud. I make no excuses for living out loud. One day I'll find what I forgot, what I was looking for. There's a place to lay our heads down to rest forevermore. Along the beaten path, vines consume the prosperous. We choke in the life out of the harvest that was sown And all the seeds that fell out by the wayside of the road Birds will carry off the empty promises you spoke
Hey, one more hand for Holy Human, everybody. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm gonna read you some more Zippodes to get in the mood for reading Zippodes, but who here has some Zippodes to read? Anybody with Zippodes to read? Okay, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to line up over here. I'm gonna read a couple while you all line up uh, to throw down, because this is the Zippo throwdown. So if you have them to read, come stand over here, and I'm gonna start calling people up in one second. But first, I'm going to read you some Zippodes from the WMFE staff. Are you all familiar with Bill Johnson, WMFE production manager? This is his Zippo to 32725. Deland so close. Casadega 2. Senses bombarded with sirens, street racing, litter. Fix Deltona. City Hall, it's on you. Yes, yes. You all know Crystal Chavez? Crystal Chavez? Crystal Chavez lives in 32807. Near Baldwin Lake, wide trails, cardinals, stray cats, lizards, snakes, and wild rabbits, now to make exercising a daily habit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is one thing that I love about this. A lot of these are going to wind up with a zero in them, and that's going to seem that's going to seem like a limiting factor. But wait, because it is one of my favorite things about this. And we're going to get to that in the next round of these. But I'm going to read you one more uh, right now from uh, uh, Abe Araya, Abe Abariah, uh, the health reporter. Three two eight zero three, which is uh, uh, you know Colonial Town, Mills Fifty area. Portal guns dry, citadels chasing, the whirly durly prototypes in Faux 88's vault. He used an, an emoji for the zero. I really liked that. It's an angry screaming emoji. Let's defrost Walt. So yes, that was the that was the end of that one. Yes. All right, so, so we have our, our next one. Feel free to introduce yourself or not. Just let us know what your actual uh, Zippo is to and uh, give us a read. I'm going to step right over here. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Steven. I'm from here in 32806. Um, mildly unclear on the guidelines for zip codes. So um, it does follow all of the rules. Um, it's not directly about my zip code, even though I do love living here, um, but I can kind of indirectly make it work. So lots of uh, people of my generation, millennials live here. We spend a lot of time on social media. It's been a rough couple days. Um, so here we go, 32806. Today on Twitter, I saw the slow disintegration of everything I thought true. And so I refreshed the page. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wayne. I'm a regular here. Um, I, I heard something disparaging about Del Tuna. Oh, oh, maybe a little, little closer. Del Tuna, uh, up yeah. in uh, 32725. Del, I always call it Del Tuna. But anyway, because I moved, I, I was born in Winter Park, raised in Orlando, Altamont, and it's nothing like I ever wanted to move into. <laughs> but anyway, so there we are. Uh, 32725, Beverly Hills, Daltuna, rich individualists, spaghetti streets everywhere, confetti lawns, plastic chairs, caviar, bologna. <laughs> Ericacy Community of Unknowns. That's right. I'm Lynn, and I live in Celebration, the town that Disney built. <laughs> Noon on Sunday, tourists roam our streets. Their afternoon to chat, gaze, play, relax. Golden hues at sunset, all quiet fills the air at night. That's zip code 34747. Okay. 
I have kind of a theme for my zip codes. My first one is 32789. Thank you, Rainbow. Not the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> After 10 o'clock, Tuesday night. Is it that they're having a party? But there is no evidence of a crowd. Glaring lights cast the night sky in a shroud. I also have a place in, in Cocoa Beach. Uh, one cannot see them twinkle. Hatchling turtle. Migrating birds and insects find navigation difficult. Turn them off, please. Hello, I'm Brian, and I have three real quick ones. They are all my important places in my life right now. So, 32810, I'll let you figure it out if you can. Sports near I-4, treadmills deep. Rocks curl and skaters twirl over frozen rink, dry. So that's the first one. Thank you. And then the next one is 32805. This one will be a little easier to figure out. Parliament House, Queens, Orlando City, soccer through Paramore, gentrified orange blossom trail walkers. Change is the only constant. And then, uh, thank you. And last but not least, this is actually my favorite of the three. 32826, seekers of truth, old, young, searching through cypress knees, book leaves, simulation seas, golden nights, circling, fighting, yearning, just to park. So this is 32832. It's down near Lake Nona. It's a little silly one, but I thought I'd read it out. New Orlando community, Lake Nona, where houses blend with medicine and sports, all surrounded by beautiful lakes. I was going to say beautiful plains, but I thought I'd make a joke. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie. Okay, so you guys might know what this is, but I do give it away at the end, and it's also applicable to a lot of places in Orlando. But it's I-4 construction cranes one ways, sun rail through high rises, park high rises, lakes, parks, and bars downtown. That was three two eight zero one. Right, three, two, one, seven, four, Ormond Beach, the coast. Thank you very much. Peach Valley Cafe. Breakfast potatoes. Period. Ormond has other good breakfast places, but those breakfast potatoes, man. <laughs> So, okay, so we are getting it. I, I see that we do understand the basic concept. All right. Um, so, uh, we're going to get on to our next act. Uh, this is the, uh, another one of the Tiny Desk winners. Uh, he is a solo act. Um, he is from Orlando. His music is a mix of jazz, pop, and rock. He is open for Jay Leno, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, The Hooters, and Asleep at the Wheel. And he is been a finalist in songwriting competitions in the U.S. and overseas. Please welcome to the stage, John Corbel. Please let me know if it's Corbel or Corbell. Corbell, I apologize. Corbell, everybody. Doing? No, thank you. All right. 
I would like to uh, give honor to this gentleman here. I've been attending concerts at this venue for many, many years, and I've actually played one here once. So this is a, a national treasure and uh, deserves your support if you like any kind of music at all. Uh, this is a sort of a, a religious cheating song. It's called Judas is Silver. She was Judas's silver, 30 pieces of pain, caught with coin of desire. Somehow I felt no shame from the moment I touched her. is me such a cliched expression betrayed with a kiss something much more like madness has brought me to this turn my back on devotion my free will was my wife Golly, Judas is silver quickly mention that's from an EP that I have out. It's called Earthlight. It's available on all the streaming uh, systems, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all that. This was my tiny desk song and it's called Sing. I sang him a 
sound so sad and lovely. He dreamt the Nile overflow with tears. Red water for interpretation. You know, a pharaoh kind of dug my friends into. Maybe I didn't go to church. Oh, here a man at the other coat, but it helped to know a standard or two. You want to dance with the daughters of angels. You want to burn so the devil may care. When stand alone on top of the mountain, you got to, you got to sing. Now even a wretch like me knows the guy put a chapel at the top of every hill. And sweet, sweet music displays more gold than any tabernacle a man can build. Well, you want to dance? With daughters of angels and birds, so the devil may care. And stand alone on top of the mountain. You've got to, you've got to sing like you're already dancing with those daughters of angels and burning, so the devil may care. And standing alone on top of the mountain, just, just sing like you're already there. for being here. Enjoy the rest of the night. One more hand for John Corbell, everybody. Uh, so yeah, so now we're on to our second round of Zippo Throwdown, if anybody has any Zippos to throw down. Again, the protocol, line up over there. Uh, I'm gonna read us a few of the listener submissions. And the first one I'm going to read us makes me very, very, very happy. And I'll, I'll explain why uh, afterward. Uh, this zip code, this zip code is one, Zero, 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 two, from a Doreen Setso. And her, her Zippo is, why? Why not? <laughs> now. <laughs> now, does anyone know where one, zero, 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 two is? <laughs> East side of Manhattan. This is what I love about this, this poetry form. New York is incapable of stealing this art form and making all the best ones. They have a ton of zeros in all their zip codes. It's just impossible. So anything that keeps New York from, from uh, operating better than anywhere else makes me happy. Uh, unfortunately, it gives California like all the power in the world, so I don't even know what to do. Um, we also have from Cindy Lovell, 32132. Where my kids grew up, I left, but am home again. That, that would be the entirety. <laughs> From Shirley Barr, 32168. Anybody know where 32168 is? Any idea? Yeah, yeah, it's around New Smyrna Beach. Tranquil morning sunrise. Fish splash, serene. Eagles soar above billowing clouds. Sunset weaves its magic peeking through distant pines. Yeah. Nice. Uh, here we are at, uh, I'm sorry, I lost it. Ah, there we go. Here we are at 32809, Jeff Henderson. Tracks divide east from west. East, privilege, wealth, lakes, west, high diversity index. 
There's no wrong side of the tracks where there's love. That's a message. That's a message right there, everybody. Three two seven eight nine. Three two seven eight nine again. Fancy Winter Park. We are beautiful, bricked, treed, but in this beauty, do we matter? Are we as peaceful as our trees suggest? For true beauty must be supported by egalitarian justice. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, from Sarah Van Arsdal, 32792. Perfect volcano cones the ants have uh, built to protect their cities from the storm along the path, paths going north and south parallel to the people, and bike lanes and dog leashes with attachments. Cars zip by on the road. She did not understand the concept of the zip out. Cars zip by on the road I cross. Clouds whirling on the road overhead. Times the lightning sees the air leaving streaks in the trees and in my eyes. Cardinals, fat and red, returning to the feeders after the rain in the stillness. She did not, she did not understand the zip out, but she wrote a very good one, nevertheless. On the other hand, do not let her talk to the people from New York, because if they realize that that's a thing that they can do. <laughs> from Mary Bolin, 32796, we're full of many tricks. No, it is not the sticks. Come to see a liftoff at Play Linda, surf's up, dude. <laughs> One more. 32801, something that I think many of us can, uh, can connect with. Marcus uh, Espeso. Old downtown streets, pretty, but developers level historic homes, overcrowding issue in future. Fine. <laughs> we have some more zip boats coming up. John Heimberg, I'm from Umatilla, which is kind of out in the sticks. It's uh, Lake County way. Three two seven eight. Uh, yeah, three two three two seven eight four. I hope I got this right. <laughs> Northwest of Orlando. Forest portal. Sounds of bird song in the morning. People still take the time to be polite in this beloved land. And he memorized it. Huge slam points right there, by the way. Were this a slam, he'd, he'd, he'd be way, way up there. Come on up. My other one was about potatoes, which, you know. Okay, this is 32174, Ormond Beach. But I messed with the form a little bit. I put the numbers in the lines, so bear with me. Three realms of water to daily renew one's one self. Seven times 70 wonders of nature. They're here for living the good life. Three two seven two five. Deltona is between the worlds. Timaquan Fisher's Confederate settled now quasi Levittown. Eschewing industry, industrious individualists, community of unknowns. <laughs> and this one's more more goofy. 32725, Daltona is a drive to, from, within, roads of spaghetti fun for Andretti, once upon a time land yachts flied. <laughs> Hi, I'm 
Bernadette. Um, I wrote this, I was kind of frustrated because I was having trouble backing out of my house. But it's 32803, yep. and it's the Milk District, food trucks. Every Tuesday night, my car gets blocked in. <laughs> it's, but it's, uh, it's tasty, though. <laughs> That is a fantastic description of Tasty Tuesdays. Lafontaine going to bless us yes. with a very well. I'm going to bless you with two oh. Zippodes. 32792. Not thankful. <laughs> Nestled between lakes, cool, unincorporated. Our older namesake resides in the other county, just minutes to Full Sail, UCF, Rollins, and Valencia. Splinter Park? <laughs> and for my final one, regardless of your political persuasion, you will appreciate my home zip code of 20020. Nation's capital. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you again to everybody who has just uh, uh, read for us. We're going to bring up our last, uh, our last of the tiny desks, uh, uh, tiny desk performers here. This is a band uh, I've actually caught several times over the last year, and. Uh, uh, I am always happy every time I do. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that you guys will be too, and I can't imagine that you won't be. Our final act tonight uh, used tiny uh, figurines of desks and chairs in their highly produced video. They nabbed the third spot in our local favorites list. Hailing from Orlando, this band blends blues, soul, and roots music to uplift and inspire audiences with messages of hope, love, and the belief that anything is possible, and they have a single out right now, and I'm hoping that they're going to tell you where you can find it. Please give it up for CeCe Tennille and Soul Commotion. Feeling all right? Y'all yeah. ready to have a good time? Yeah. We are missing one person. Oh, there he is. Hey, Chris. I thought you were outside. <laughs> we're so happy. We're so happy to be here. Um, kudos to Holy Human and John Clobel. We are. Um, congratulations on your placement in this contest. Um, yeah. So um, we're going to play a little music for you. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it. You, did everybody get a Soul Commotion bracelet? Yeah, if you didn't get one, I'll get you one afterwards. Now, they said earlier about moving some chairs out of the way if you feel like you want to dance a little bit. So uh, feel free. Right, Benoit? They can dance. Benoit? He left. They can dance? OK. All right, all right, all right. All right, y'all, here we go. Here we go. She, you've been talking crazy all night long. Saying you're leaving, so won't you go head on? Won't you pass it? Does that feel good? 
middle side you thought the grass was greener on the other side is it did you consider you were doing wrong try to come back i just might be gone seems like we've been here so many times before you see i this gentleman to my right, <laughs> Mr. Rod Maurice, y'all. <laughs> and it just speaks about living your life to the fullest. Most of all, being happy that you're alive, that you get an opportunity to live another day. Because there's so many people that don't have that opportunity. They've gone on before us. This song is called Alive. Yes, Rolling Stone, relax your mind. Forgive yourself, leave pain behind, you're alive. Yeah, you're alive. You think back on your life. Details of gory scars, pain, they let you know you're alive. Yeah, you're alive. As long as there's a breath you can take, God can hear you when you make your case. You can't have life without death. There's no right without left, pleasure without pain. It's all a part of living, you're alive. 
spite of your fear there'll be good things and bad things there's odd things and sweet things they're existential it's proof that you're here So far, 
So this song right here, just break it down just for one minute. This song right here, I think by the second, by the second chorus you'll be singing along. It's a real simple song, but it just talks about the loved one that you wish you had for just one more day. So a lot of people think that that's about a romantic love interest, but that could be any particular loved one that has gone on, any, any, anybody that you would just like to have their love back for just one day. So the song is really, really simple. And if you feel inclined to sing along, feel free, all right? Here we go. So I lost it, threw it away. Now I need it so badly. There ain't any price that I wouldn't pay. What I do to get your love back? What I do to get your love back? What I do to get your love? Back? easy, right? Oh, for just one day. Listen, I got caught up in a rat race. Could I think straight on my own? Could I see that what I searched for, it was waiting
So they've got a single out. John Corbell. Is John Corbell still in here? Yeah. John Corbell, you've got an album? You do that people can pick up somewhere. They can pick it up right here. They, they can pick it up from John right here. And uh, Holy Human. Where are we going? Do you guys got anything uh, for sale? You got CDs on you? Where are you guys playing next? Where? <laughs> Somewhere in Daytona. Okay, so so check out Holy Human in Daytona. Pick up their CDs. Pick up John Corbell's CDs. Go get CC Tennille's single. Uh, which is that last song right there that I know you're all going to have stuck in your head for a while. Um, that said, this has been a really, really wonderful night. I love doing this every year. Thank you all so much for coming out. Thank you for reading your zip boats. Thank you to La Fontaine and WMFE for putting this on. Thank you to the Timaqua Arts Foundation for hosting everybody. Thank you all so much for coming out. <laughs> good night. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Not good night. No, you must hear from La Fontaine one more time. So everybody, please welcome Mr. La Fontaine Oliver one more time. You really, you really don't need to hear from me again, but um, I will just say this. Um, this is an example of what can happen when we come together to support local. Uh, your local community, local food, local music. Do what you can. Support these local artists if you can. Uh, whether it's purchasing one of their CDs or going to one of the streaming services, uh, that's what makes this community unique is when we can get together and support each other. And then a round of applause again for this organization, for Benoit and for Timaqua. <laughs> Truly dedicated to the preservation and forward progression of music and culture here in Central Florida, and that is so important, so we want to thank them. Uh, also, you can look for a recording of tonight's event on our website next week if you want to check that out, and perhaps an airing of it during our public affairs program intersection, so listen out for that. Again, thank you so much for supporting local public radio here in Central Florida, 90.7 WMFE. Thank you, family, for coming out.